One of the most difficult things that we have to worry about as chemical educators is safety in our classrooms, particularly the safety of our students. You'll probably see throughout all of these demonstrations that we've all been wearing safety goggles, and one of the most important things that you have a responsibility to do as an educator is to get your students to wear safety goggles when they need them. My students often complain there are a lot of challenges in using safety goggles. You have the issue of they're uncomfortable, they put lines on my face. There's obviously a solution to that, get a pair of goggles that are comfortable. Uh, but also stressing the importance of why we are actually protecting your eyes is probably one of the most important things you can get across to your students. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to do a demonstration that you can use in your classroom at the beginning of the school year to show the importance of using safety goggles. So if you want to imagine that this is your eye, and this is acid. If this is your eye, this is your eye on acid. And you can see pretty immediately that you get a rather quick denaturing of the egg white. Proteins can be denatured by acid, so you can see that it's starting to coagulate. And we'll give this a little bit of time. but. Um, to help stress the importance of this, um, I do have a student volunteer here today. Uh, Sean, would you like to put your goggles on for us? And you can probably see they're starting to get some black and some caramelization in the, in the egg here. It's even starting to get to the yolk, and that's getting a little bit more opaque as well. Um, so it's a pretty nasty looking demonstration for students to imagine. And uh, Sean, do you still have those goggles on? And uh, if you would like to take those goggles off, you can see just what great protection your goggles provide for you. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you might want to clean up here, Sean. Thank you. Uh, but you can see quite a dramatic amount of protection is offered by your goggles. So if students can see exactly how much protection these goggles give and the reason why they're there in the first place, they're probably a little bit more likely to avoid complaining about the fact that they have to wear them all the time. Now, you might have a problem replicating in this your classroom because on the second day of school, you probably don't want to take one of your students and shove a shaving cream pie in their face. Maybe you do. Uh, <laughs> but what I've done a couple of times, you can get a teacher who has a prep hour at the same time that you're teaching that class. Uh, if you have a very good relationship with your principal, you might get your principal up to demonstrate this. Now, depending on the quality of your relationship, you might be able to get your principal to be the one getting the pie, uh, at which point your students would probably have great respect for your principal and even greater respect for you. Uh, but you could also get the principal to come in and give you the pie in the face, uh, and you just have to wipe it off a couple of times a day but it's a really nice dramatic demonstration of just what safety goggles do. And if you can imagine something that's not innocuous, like an acid or something like that that's not, not shaving cream, then you can see the protection that's offered. And if you look at the egg now, there's quite a bit of coagulation happening and more is happening. There's sort of this black goop at the bottom. The egg is almost completely cooked. So if you can imagine that that does that to an eye, just or to an egg, imagine what it's going to do to your eye. So both of these demonstrations aren't the only way that you can get the importance to goggles across your students. It's a constant reminder all year long until it's an automatic pilot for them to just go in the lab and put on goggles. But they're two really good demonstrations that can stress the importance. Thank you.